Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, I've had this comment left on my YouTube channel and it says Could you please do a video on how you set up orchestral tracks in contact for Cubase? My attempts usually end up with silent keyboards or I correct one and the rest of the tracks are silent. Many thanks. Now I actually had the same problem a while back when I was sorting out my Cubase. It's quite a common problem actually. I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's quite simple. Let's get into it. Right, so this is a blank Cubase project. We've got nothing loaded up yet. What I'm going to do is click this button here to open up the VST instruments and I'm going to add contact in. So I'm going to click contact 5, 16 out. Add that track. And this is what we get. Let's close the outputs for now. And what I'm going to do is just quickly add in some instruments. So I'll just add in some strings, put a violin in, and I'm going to add viola. All of these loading screens are showing up on my other monitor. I've got two monitors up. I'm going to add cello, and I'm going to add the bass instrument. There we go. Let's minimize these. And if I open up the mixer now, let's close that, you can see that that sound is coming through that. We've only got one output open at the moment. Head back into here. If I select viola and play that, and open up the mixer, you can see that one's also coming through the, the same output. So all of these instruments are basically going through one output at the moment. Um, to fix that, all you need to do is open up the output on contact. So click this. And then go to presets, batch, configuration, batch functions, clear output selection, uh, sorry, clear output section, and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. So now you can see these have all been named with the same names as these instruments and also these output channels have been configured to go to these output channels but if I I should still have the same problem though as before so if I play this I'm not getting anything now So what I need to do, the only one that's coming through that channel, you can see the channel here, will be this violin one, because that's configured to channel one. So what I need to do now is, I'll just close these. On this VST instrument where we opened up Contact 5 Player, you need to click this little arrow, go to Activate Outputs, and because we loaded up four instruments, we need to we need to have four outputs selected. So the first one's already on. So that's one, two, three, four. And then now, if I open up the mixer, we've got these four output channels. And all of these now should be configured to one of these channels. So violin, if I just play the violin. Viola should be on KT Aux 1. Cello, KT Aux 2. And the bass, if I can just move that across. The bass always, for some reason, loads up with the dynamics on 0%, so I'll just fix that. And the basses are on that channel. So that's how you configure all of the instruments to go to separate channels. Um, you mentioned that the keyboard sometimes doesn't play anything. Uh, I've had that same problem myself, but what I do to get around it is, before I load up Cubase, I always switch my keyboard on and off. Like Even if I've not been using it at all, just switch it on and off again. And that always, for some reason, works every time. If that doesn't work, it's probably something to do with this MIDI out input selection here. So you need to make sure that I just have it selected to all MIDI inputs and that always works. But you could probably select it to your MIDI keyboard as well. 
Um, so that's it for this video. If this has helped in any way, please click like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.